Guys, I'm pretty impressed with this uh, with this Victron Smart Shunt. I just put it in today. It uh, takes the place of my uh, just my real link. Not real link. Uh, oh, what's the other guy? I forget. Uh, and anyway, uh, it doesn't really matter. It's uh, it's a nice shunt, you know, but it doesn't have anywhere near the smart capability of this guy. The fact that it talks via Bluetooth and VE uh, direct network means I can plug it into my GrowWatt software. Or not, it's not software for GrowWatt specifically. It's Solar Assistant, which works with the with the uh, smart shunt. So when that's running, I can go into that program and actually take a look at what my grow watt inverter is doing. Right now I'm just uh, running my batteries up to 100%, but you can see here that I have a 40% battery running right now. I can see the specifics of the shunt, what it's doing, and uh, current amperage, voltage, all of that. This will all get smarter over time, obviously. Uh, once the uh, once the shunt learns has some time to go full and empty so it can get an actual exact reading of, of current going in and out and what's available uh, the software is fantastic let me just tell you if you don't have it ditch that crap that uh, grow up puts out and get this this software does pretty much everything up to controlling the grow watt settings which will be available in an upgrade coming out I guess within about 15 to 20 days I'm part of that beta package so I'll, I'll know about it you know before it goes public and I'll let everybody know but I mean it knows about both my grow watt inverters see the cluster of them and what they're doing currently total PV power right now is 4,000 watts, you know, 4 kilowatts. Off of inverter 1, 2,900. And off of inverter 2, basically 1,073. And it's real time. That's another thing. So you're basically looking at real time numbers. None of that five minute delay crap. And, you know, you get a lot more information from this than you do from the actual GrowWatt software. You can when it's ready you'll be able to go into this and make changes to the settings as you can see right there which will be really nice and if you go and want more detailed information on those you could go directly into the settings here and then choose inverter one you can get your firmware edition all of that what your settings are currently You know, they and like I said, right now it says edit, but it's not functioning uh, right this second. But I know that the next edition of it will allow that to work. Choose the second inverter. This is the uh, 5,000 watt, and you can see what that's doing and what that's set for and all that. You also have the settings for the Victron Smart Shunt under battery, and it now has that information there. That gives you a real state of charge so that you know what's going on and let me let me just tell you I, I, I'm very impressed I mean this is uh, this is pretty impressive anyway uh, the Victron smart shunt I, I really tell you I really do like this thing Bluetooth, you know, notwithstanding, I never like Bluetooth devices, obviously because of the lack of range. The fact that I can in integrate it with my inverter and the inverter reads those settings makes a big difference because now it's Wi-Fi, which means I can access it anywhere in the world. And, you know, I'm pretty happy with this so far. So far it's 41% which I don't know how 
I get like I said, it, the accuracy is not there yet because it's the first time I'm charging this bank through the uh, shunt. So it's going to give me real numbers when it's finished. But this is an 840 amp hour bank. You know, uh, uh, let's see, we're looking at 48, 280 amp hour cells. And, you know, we're going to see what this thing really can do. I'm assuming we'll probably end up going to get maybe 800 uh, amp hours as opposed to 840. I don't know why these cells all say that they're going to do 280. And, you know, that would mean that when you charge these to, let's say, 3.65, if that's what you so choose, then you should have basically, uh, you know, uh, 58.4 volts at the end. But you never get that. I mean, the inverter basically starts wigging out. I'm not sure if it's so much the inverter or if it's actually the the BMSs, the Dally Smart BMS units that I use. Maybe, you know, doing one of those those jump deals where it gets to 55.8, 55.9, and then all of a sudden it jumps up to, say, 58, you know, or something like that. I've seen weird things happen like that. You can't ever really capture it. So you can't see exactly when it triggers off. But I've had this inverter literally shut down, I guess, for over voltage. And I know that, you know, first it was 55 point whatever. And then all of a sudden the BMS units just decided that, oh, it's full. And the power was still trying to come in. And it just kind of like, you know, caused the inverter to, to go into shutdown and restart mode. So I'm trying to uh, mitigate that by going into a, uh, a new set of BMS units that I have coming from C+. I'm going to check these out and see if they can basically do a better job. The fact that they talk to the grow watt inverter on the, uh, on the CAN bus is going to really be helpful because that's going to allow them to control the grow watt inverter. So they'll be able to control the charging. They'll be able to tell the grow watt inverter when it needs to throttle down because it's getting near full and that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, it's an expense. Obviously, I need three of them. And, I, you know, these are 280 amp hour banks. So you need at least a minimum 200 amp hour charge or 200 amp uh, BMS per one of those banks. So that's three of those banks, 200 amp hour or 200 amp uh, BMS units. So, you know, with that investment, We'll see if that helps. I went, away, went ahead and bought four of them because I'm going to add one more uh, bank to give this a total of 60 kilowatt hours of capacity. And we'll go from there. But, you know, I'll keep you guys posted. Just figured I'd give you an update. I haven't posted in a little bit, but I've been busy. And uh, thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.